boom. Oh, I got enough. I got enough science to um, to get me another another research point. Oh, nice. So I think I want. Is it the is it the barracks or the palisade that I want? Barracks will let me recruit warriors. Um, or the palisade will then go on to secret paths. Totem will let me build and recruit witches, which might be fun. But maybe maybe we just want maybe we just want to warrior it up. Mm, what do you think? Mm, I I well. I really like the secret paths, but it depends what you've got near you. I don't think they're close enough, you know. I don't think we'll get anything out of secret paths, because these are just slightly too far out. No, that's a shame. It is, it is bad. Um, I don't know, then, in that case. Hard to say. Maybe... I don't know. We'll just, I'll just keep... Maybe I should make some armour. That might... Yeah, yeah, worst. none of us can make armour yet. All right, let's craft some light armour. And then I can actually use my the fur you gave me to make that. And that have might we, not be the worst thing. Have we got any metal nearby? I can really do with some metals. Um, I don't know, actually. But that's, we should get some from the Mithra mine, shouldn't we? Oh, that's true. Could do with a, like a steady supply, though. Ideally. Yeah. Heavy fur brigandine. Bam, let's search one of those. All right, boys. Two turns. Okay. Yeah, metal. Hmm. I guess maybe we could look into that after. It, it Ooh, sometimes feels... attacked by wolves, but there was only three of them. That was easy. We've, Sorry. we've dealt with wolves before. Oh, where's the Mithra mine gone? Oh. Oh, no way. Did it time out? Oh, my God. Oh, disaster. we just got there. God damn it. <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's been timed out for a while, but we only just saw. Oh, that is really annoying. That is the worst. Ah, uh, we were really looking forward to that. Spent so long getting there. <laughs> How would a mithril mine just disappear? Oh, there you go. Maybe someone else raided it before we did. Yeah, I got mined out. Oh, right. Let's hit the oh, Elven Sea and the God. Cosmic Tree up and God see what those it. those stories are. Because right. I reckon we can probably take any fight with this with this badass group of army that we've got. Yeah, I've got a Gimli son is overwhelmed. She's lost her strength blessing and now can't carry all her equipment. Oh no, because of the mithril. She was uh, so hoping was so, to yeah. avenge <laughs> her father's quest. She's, she's yeah. crushed now. She's lost all hope. Oh, Gimlison. Gonna have to take her Apparently, fur, Gimli fur actually does have a, a daughter. Oh, really? Called, like, Gimli, Gimli Gal or something. <laughs> nice. Or Gimli Door or something like that. Gimli, <laughs> Gimli Idor. Genuinely, genuinely, I wow. read this, so. Yeah. Oh, well, that's that's her then. Well, it might, might, that might be wrong. Citation needed, obviously. Obviously, as with everything, everything that we say. <laughs> um, but I heard that, so it might it might be true. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Right. Um, and what's what's happening with production? Oh, just everyone's cooking the big os. Uh, right. Now, has our god contacted us yet? Um, I think she's going to wait till we make a decision on what we're doing about the cosmic tree. Ah. Okay. So I know that our god deal. has a has a has a problem with us if we we don't play by the rules. Yeah, she likes trees, and we might not like trees. Do, no, I think do we like I like trees. Do we? I thought we were going to be science guys. Oh, no. Well, I'm the elves, aren't I? Oh yeah. I have sort of been cutting down a few trees. This is an elven city we're going to. That's true. Okay, we'll go we'll go elf elf tree hugging style. Honestly, like, why would a tree ever be bad? Do you, know, do you know what I mean? Because it's a magic tree and it gets in the way of progress. Oh, but but the world's like messed up. We kind of need we need to cure it of all the darkness, you know. But with with reason and science, not with magic and nonsense. Oh, why are we and you arguing now? <laughs> We've gone wrong. <laughs> We've fallen out over the concept. You're 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 like Lord of the Rings. What do you know about science? Oh, that's true. Gandalf wasn't like using potions. No, no, and stuff, you're right. The orcs were like the bad guys, and they were all about industry they, and exactly. stuff, weren't they? It was a message about you know the, the perils modern, of industrialization. Exactly, ben. Yeah. Oh no, I'm making the same mistakes all over again. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna make some boar spears. Boar, boar spears. Yeah, I've researched um, the next level up from sticks to spears. Okay. Well, at least we're doing something different. I guess yeah. I'll do cloth. I'll do armor. I'm making a few a few bits of armor, and that'll that'll be good. I think people can wear that. There's yeah. always people who need armor. Yeah, yeah. Like you'll never you'll never go out of business catering to uh, 
to clothes. I don't think we've people need clothes. clothes. No, people will always need clothes and haircuts. Yeah. You know? And plumbing. Even if robots take over the world, <laughs> yeah. people are still going to want proper haircuts because uh, just robots are not going to be able to do a good haircut. No, have you, have you, I mean, have you ever just seen... Just wait until, wait until 10 years' time someone builds some amazing robot haircut <laughs> yeah. machine. But have you ever seen a robot with a good haircut? No, no, you haven't. Well, exactly. There's a reason for that. <laughs> Is it because they cut each other's hair? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm at the Elven City. Oh, God, all right. Here's Just what we got. Keep me posted. Um, I find a, find a tower. Um, it stands tall in the countryside, and there's a lone figure on a rocking chair. He waves his hand and smiles. It is an old orc male dressed in a simple linen shirt with no visible weapons. Okay. Um, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to say hello. We're looking for something. Uh, we're looking for Zan, Zad, Zadra. And he's, he's going all Obi-Wan Kenobi on me and saying, that's not a name I've heard since... Um, Many years ago, when gonna, I was a little boy. I'm going to tell him... Yeah. I jizzed <laughs> all over the place. Wow, you must have seen a different version. <laughs> Sorry. Um, um, I'm going to tell her about... I'm going to tell him about how that elf he liked was cursed. Okay. Um, although I can't quite remember. It's been so long since we've recorded. I, I, I don't remember. Whether or not... Because there wasn't... Okay, so we found a tree and there was a dead elf there. Or was he dying? No, was he was he like dead? long dead for hundreds of years. He was hundreds of years dead. And he said something about the tree being really bad. Uh, well, he had, there were two notes. There was one note that said save the tree and then one note scribbled by the, by the science guy saying burn the tree. Okay. But the tree was still there. Uh, there is a, is still a tree somewhere. Somewhere we haven't found it yet. But we don't know. But it's obviously been saved, and the world has ended, right? I think the tree like got damaged, but it didn't get destroyed. But the world ended. And the world ended because. And the tree... so we don't know whether we had to fully destroy the tree because it wasn't destroyed enough, or, or by damaging the tree it fucked it up. Exactly. Okay. Um. God, this guy's really. And going so it could on be a lot it. worse if the tree was damaged even more. Oh God, yeah. Do you cut the red wire or the blue wire? That's basically what it's boiling down to. Red wire. Okay, always red. <laughs> when in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we've been taught, right? If you were making a bomb and you wanted to make like a safety thing, you would totally not do that, would you? You'd totally do it the other way around. You know, you wouldn't want people that's to That's true. Or your... maybe it's a double bluff, though, is, you know? That's what they'd want you to think. Right. Do they do... Do they know that you know that they would know? Oh, I see. Then they, I don't, mm, I think that they wouldn't be thinking about the double bluff. They'd just be thinking, <laughs> hang on a second. If we, we should you totally not have this, this, if you cut the red wire, it should totally just blow up, I reckon. Well, red is danger. I think people just assume that, that the red wire is the safe wire to cut, though. That's the, shut the fuck up. What's going on? Are you t- I wonder if this is even a real thing, though. Is this just a Hollywood thing? Like, do bombs really have different coloured wires, and if you cut the wrong one, they explode? Probably not. No, I don't think that's how like, bombs work. Is that work. just a film thing? It's one of these Hollywood things. If the same thing, like, if you punch someone in the face, they could just get knocked out. When yeah, and actually, don't have any severe actually, brain trauma or yeah, anything. Yeah, like, totally, you will actually fracture the skull and, <laughs> and kill them, or yeah. give them some serious injury. People don't, don't just get knocked out from a punch. <laughs> yeah, and then they're fine. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of those weird Hollywood isms. Because if that were true with the wires, you could invent a device like a like a guillotine that would just cut all. You line all the wires up, you put them in the machine, and you push down, and it just severs every single wire at the exact same time. Holy shit! What a fucking brilliant! Why do people not use that? <laughs> I know, right? That's just solved You're all the a problems. Genius. All right. Anyway, what, what's going on? Um, oh, he has been waffling on like nobody's business he's like cursed someone and then I asked him to get rid of the curse and he does like a magic and it goes wrong and like the magic comes and hits him back and then there's a fire and then I get out of the way and don't want to get involved and there's a swirling vortex of ash um oh my god and now he's free he like oh he'd been possessed by something evil and now he's free this is too much it's a lot going on here um Tyrion has learnt three points of magic from watching the ritual Look, listen, I know this is a story-type-based game, okay? (laughs) And I'm sorry to any of you who are sort of slightly salty about us skipping large chunks of the story, but honestly, it's it's hard to get through it. It's, I mean, if you can give me the the handy notes, or what they're called. Cliff notes, yeah. That would be fantastic. I think the cliff notes is he, um, the Elven City is destroyed, 
Okay. But he has blessed us with the knowledge of his peoples. Okay. And four of our guys got, like, big buffs. Okay. So then we can go to the cosmic tree and check that out. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It continues. Oh. Um. Goodness me. Right. He wants me to know what he should do about his city. We can tell him to avenge it. We can say, talk to the people who did it and chill out. Or um, just, just let it go and get on with your life. Listen... Revenge is never the answer, Ben. It's true. You know, you don't accomplish anything and it doesn't make you feel better. Yeah, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth just creates a world full of blind, toothless people. Well said. So we have to say to him, look, fucking move on with your life. Christ. Yeah, get on with it. We've all, we've, bad shit's happened to all of us. Yeah. You don't see me crying about look it. Look at the worlds. It's ended. Come and hang out at Rivendell. Get in our baths and um, nice trees and we've got yeah. a well and stuff and watch the, Tower um, and some cabbages and... Yeah, here's some bigos. There. Just have some bigos. Honestly, like get slap, get some bigos down you, and join join the Mithril Mine crew. Oh no, he's he's rip. walked off with his lover in into the sunset, never to be seen again. All right, good. Well, that's what that's good. That's cool. One less bit of violence going on. God, please. Um, right, oh. that's the end of Kill Squad's turn. They had a an exciting adventure that I didn't entirely understand. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> don't, don't don't feel bad. The parts of this game I like, and I think they're fun, yeah. are the challenge. Yeah. I like the base building. Mm. I like the collecting minerals and stuff from around the map. I like the fighting. There's a lot There's a lot in this game. Yeah, because well, it's like five different genre games all kind of mushed together in a weird much, way. Isn't yeah, it? it really is. It's like, it's, a, it's like an RPG and a 4X. It's trying to juggle a, a lot of things. Mm. And it does it. Fairly capably, honestly, like mm. in a lot of aspects. I mean, it's got multiplayer. It works. Yeah. You know. More than Civ can say. Yeah. And it's it's not designed for it. I don't think they really thought too deeply in the, the way this game. I think when you design a game that's this complex. Yeah. And has this many things. Um, it's tough to sort of work it out and balance like all, you know, the story yeah. with other stuff. There's a lot of games like this that I really like the look of, but they're not multiplayer. You can tell this isn't made by a big team either. No. And as much as I like reading this stuff, I don't think it's going to win any fucking book of prizes, do you? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So what's going on with, um, with so you So I now? found a mushroom circle in the woods. Right. Which I guess is like some kind of fairy, fairy meeting Stay, table. Don't step sure? in it. Yeah. Because I've got three options. I can take the mushrooms. I can no, leave. Don't do that. I've got, a, I've got a blue option where I can speak to the forest. Do that. Pick that one. I wish you no harm. For Oh, my God. It's like an evil tree beard. Okay. Um, the circle is a sacred place. Um, why should we help you at all, scumbag humans? Don't, then. We're good. Um, I, I can just leave, or I can try and convince him. I can say, we're all children of Thea. We're all tree-hugging hippies here. Yeah, we like trees. Yeah, we like trees. Let's social it up. Oh, my God. So there's, there's a tree man... There's two demon men, there's two harpies, there's six minor demons and four wolves. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of them. I've got to try and talk them all down. But I'm going to auto-resolve it because a combat between ten and ten versus ten is going to take forever. So, um, auto-resolve. I lost the challenge. <sighs> um, you try Because it's mostly a warrior-based team. They're not very good at talking. No, um, they just they just want to kill stuff. The more I try to argue with them, the angrier they get. And then they end with, no, go away, humans. So I can fight them in a five-star fight, or I can just leave. A five-star fight? So do you think you could fight Treebeard and all that shit? No, no, because even those, like, his mates are, like, I've recognised their pictures. They're, like, quite powerful demons. It's a whole bunch of, like, tree nymphs and stuff. Like, and there's, like, 12 of them. Okay, let's get the fuck let's out. Let's just leave. That looks like a real disaster yeah, waiting to happen. That, I think that would be a total party wipe if I tried to fight that. <laughs> even fucking... Kill Squad 5000 is going to get party wiped by this stuff. My but God, how much longer are we going to be playing this game? <laughs> you don't have to win every challenge. That wasn't like a, um, you know, like a main story quest. Oh, there's lots of spiders here. Oh, I found a ruined graveyard. It's creepy. I like the artwork, to be honest, for this game. I do like it. I'm going to search the graveyard and I'm going to fight some skelly bobs. Do it Murdered. Then. Killed them all. Got some um, malachite and okay. some steel, which is pretty good. Boromir got a minor wound. No no worries. Take my loot. That's good. Um, I'm boom. just going to hold up. Boom, boom, boom. Um, and then I've got to put something else into production because Gandalf's finished making his magic rings. Uh, yeah, I probably ought to put something in production. Mm. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm making a heavy fur brigandine. 
That'll be done in a turn. I'm making it out of some bones. Bones. Oh, my kill squad's got all the cool materials. I haven't got any. Yeah, don't worry. We can head back in a minute. Anything cool? Yeah. Should I just make another cabbage patch while I wait for... What, you, what is it? What you like you and your cabbage patch? I just haven't had any kids from it yet. I've got two gold kids come in. Oh my god. You're up to six people. Why have you been getting all the kids? I don't know. I've got two, there's two kids just hanging out in my base. Oh, I've got six. Someone, I've got a new guy. Yeah. I got Kaya, the, uh, a warrior. She just turned up. What do you mean? What, really? Yeah, yeah. She just I wandered just, in. She just wandered in off the street. Um, she is pretty good. She's got a short pike and Smith's apron. And um, she's going to get renamed to... Who's that woman um, who was the fighter who fancied um, Boromir? Uh, oh, um... Arwen. Ar is it Arwen? No, Arwen's the elf. And, Shit. Um, Eowyn. Eowyn. I don't know how to spell it. A and there's no way of finding out. W. There's no way to find out. No. How we could have how, possibly... How, how, how could we ever know? <laughs> like, Heck so on. I'm just going to guess. It's Eowyn, yeah. I think... E, e O W Y N. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Shield Maiden of Rohan. Yeah, that's her. All right. Yeah, that's her. Okay. I found um, I Googled her. Daughter of Eomund and Theoduin. Theoden. King Theoden. Younger sister of Eoma and niece of King Theoden. Niece of King Theoden. She was the daughter of Theoduin. Oh. She's right. Theoden's niece. I think they could have made more of an effort with the names in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> mm. She had one son with Faramir after the little War of the Ring. And oh. the son was called Elberon. Okay. <laughs> sure. I didn't know Faramir survived the War of the Ring. Yeah, he got he got messed up pretty bad. Um but because his whole family died, didn't he? His um Boromir died, his brother. Yeah. And his dad, um Denethor. Spoil spoilers. Died. So, like, he... I guess he's king of Gondor. No, no, because Aragorn takes over. Shit, that sucks for Faramir, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, his older brother and his dad dies, so the only consolation he's got for the wipeout of his family is he's now king of Ro uh, king of Gondor. And his wife is the girl who fancied... Uh, fancied... Oh, God, fancied yeah. Aragorn. So, he, so he marries this woman, knowing that not only has Aragorn taken his kingdom off of him, but also his wife would secretly much rather be with him. Yeah. Bad, oh, Faramir. It didn't work out well for poor <laughs> Faramir. It's just rough. <laughs> <laughs> you can end your turn Sorry. any time yeah. this decade. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> I just couldn't. I was overcome with grief for Faramir. Oh um, I got God. attacked by a spider queen, but it ain't no thing but a chicken wing for Kill Squad. Another spider queen's attacking them, and we just messed that one up too. Really shit. Well, they, they were both the NPCs that were next to you. It's, yeah. Uh, when you, you just camped right next to those spiders and just let them come and at you. They just charged into me. Are you just ignoring this cosmic tree? What uh, are you well, doing? I'm clearing out the spiders. They've been attacking me. I haven't been able to do anything about oh. it. Oh. Um, I'm going to hunt up those spiders. Blam. You're going to hunt them? Yeah, they're dead. All right. And, um, all right, should I do the tree now? Yeah. All right, let me go. Hopefully, we're not going to have to. Hopefully, it won't be a fight, but we'll find out. Do you know what? We're ready for a fight. We are. We've got Kill Squad. I'm up for a fight.